The use of golf carts has risen sharply over the last couple of years, with more golfers than ever reaping the benefits of walking the golf course, but not wanting to have a bag on their back. Now here at Golf Monthly, we've tested over 25 of these models over the last couple of years. And in this video today, I'm gonna to be taking a look at some of the best push carts and best electric trolleys of 2022. I'll split this video into two sections for you with five push carts and five electric trolleys. And as always, I'll be crowning a winner at the end, the best push cart of 2022 and the best electric trolley of 2022. Now, if any of these golf carts take your fancy, I've put some links down in the description below where you can click on them and take a look for yourself. While you're down there, give us a like and subscribe to the channel as well. But without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's start with the best push carts of 2022. And before we do, let's get into why you would maybe want a push cart over an electric trolley. With push carts, obviously they're a lot cheaper than an electric trolley, so that's something to consider. And something else is that they're a lot lighter and more compact. So if you struggle for space in your car boot or trunk or wherever you store it at home, or don't be lugging something really heavy in and out of your car, this is why a push cart would be great for you. Another thing which I think a lot of people forget is the sort of handle storage you get with a push cart over an electric one. On electric ones, there either isn't any or there's a GPS embedded. Whereas with all these push carts we're gonna look at today, there is some really good handle storage to put your phone or a water bottle or balls, tees, etc. So those are the kind of factors you need to consider when looking at whether you want a push cart or an electric trolley. And let's talk about the first push cart in this video. Then it stood here right next to me and is a great example of everything I've just said. Uh, this is the Power Caddy Micro. It's been one of my absolute standouts this year. Uh, in testing. Firstly, because I think it just looks awesome. I love the wheels, especially that yellow on black really pops. So it looks a good tick, but practicality wise is up there as well. Folds up really compact into a very boxy shape. So it's great for storage in your car or wherever you keep it at home. It's a real easy two-step system where this bottom wheel folds under and the rest of the chassis just sort of folds in on itself. It's got a really well positioned parking brake on the back of the left wheel that you've got to click to stop it rolling away down a hill. Super stable over most terrains as well, I found, which is really good. And the absolute standout is this storage here. And I spoke about storage being a, a real factor whether you want a push cart or not. And this has got all sorts here. It's got a special little phone holder, which I love as well, especially when I use my Arcos or other GPS apps and I need my phone on me, but I don't want it in my pocket, for example. So that's great. You know, everything else as well, balls, tees, pencil, scorecard holder. It looks great. It's at a pretty competitive price. It's very practical. It does everything a push cart should do. Um, so that's why you should maybe look at a push cart and why the Power Caddy Micro is a very good option. Okay, so next up for the best push carts is the Sun Mountain Speed Cart VR1 2022. Now, if you're watching over in the States, you'll know this is a dominant franchise in the push cart market. The first iteration of the Speed Cart was, came around in 1999. So that makes it nearly as old as me. And much like me, the 2022 version is much better looking, much sleeker and highly functional. Uh, it's a brilliant trolley, basically. And my colleague in the States, Chris, tested this for us uh, and gave it five stars in his review, which um, you can check out on the Golf Monthly website. First thing to note, though, it is a little heavier than some of these. It comes in about 18 pounds, all in all. Uh, and while it's heavier when it's you know, folded up and you're carrying it in out of the car, once it's unfolded, that makes for a really sturdy car uh, that is really good on all terrain and is actually effortlessly lightweight to push. Uh, another point worth noting on this car is that it takes a stand bag or a cart bag really easily. So if you're looking to buy a push cart and don't want to force yourself into a cart bag or just like the bag you've already got, either kind of bag can go on there. So that's a great uh, plus point for the Sun Mountain Speed Cart there. As you can see by the way it folds up, when we compare it to the Micro I just spoke about, it's actually a lot longer. It doesn't quite fold up into that, into that boxy shape. So it makes it a lot flatter. It does cover a bit more surface area. So bear that in mind if you're tight on space or looking for a certain kind of trolley the way it folds up and much like all the push carts today, great storage. It's got more of a mesh under storage, which you can put balls or head covers in or whatever you kind of like to keep loose during a round of golf. There's a really handy drinks holder as well, and it's available in 10 different colors. So some slightly bolder colorways than you get with some of the push carts. So listen, it's been around since 1999. The 2022 version is excellent. And the Sun Mountain Speed Cart is one you have to have on your shortlist. Okay, so next up, let's talk about the Motor Caddy Cube. It's one of the best push carts of 2022. Now, much like the speed cart I just spoke about, this is a very well-established franchise uh, within the push cart market, and for very good reason at that. And it comes in the name, the Cube. It folds up into a very cuby shape, which is a fantastic mechanism that Motor Caddy have put together. Two clicks and it folds up into this very easy to store and to carry cube shape. So that's absolutely the USP of this trolley and why it's been so successful. 
Everywhere else it performs as a trolley should. Decent amount of storage for balls, tees, etc. Uh, but another fantastic feature is the easy lock system, which if you have a motor caddy bag, allows the bag to attach to the bottom of the trolley without a need for one of those bungee bands across the bottom. And that stops the bag twisting. And it's a lot, actually a lot more secure than a band would even be. Um, so it's a good push cart all round, but that cube folding shape is the absolute key point with this car. It's a fantastic one that's been around for a heck of a long time, really well built, really good quality, and really one to consider if you're after a push cart. Next up for push carts is the Bag Boy Nitron. And while this might not be as well recognized a name as the other three I've spoken about, this is a push cart that absolutely nails the basics, and I mean nails them, whilst having some really nice added details and added touches to make the whole user experience really, really enjoyable. Uh, so firstly, the way it unfolds, it's quite a unique system in that it's not, you're not unfolding the wheel or the handle and letting the trolley come out. There is some painted technology in there that allows it to unfold all at once uh, in one sort of fell swoop. So it's really, really quite simple when you get used to it super, super quickly. So another feature that absolutely elevates this push cart is the amount of storage on offer. And it is a heck of a lot. It's probably got more storage than I've got in my apartment back at home, really. It really is a lot. You're talking drinks holder, umbrella holder, scorecard holder, somewhere for your balls and your tees, a mesh sort of bit underneath for head covers, and a really, really cool phone holder. So I can't really think of anything that it hasn't covered there, which is fantastic. And one last really unique thing about it is that the parking brake, whereas we saw it on the behind the wheels of the motor caddy and the power caddy, is actually on the handle. You sort of pull it towards you uh, to secure that trolley if you're on a hill. And I actually quite like it there versus when it's a foot brake. I think the foot brakes were excellent, but I found it actually a bit more useful having it uh, up where everything else was, you know, where your hands are, it's kind of more useful. So a pretty unique feature and a really, really good one. So as I said, this is a really all-round trolley that nails those basics and has some really, really nice added details that make the whole user experience from start to end really, really enjoyable. Uh, so the Bag Boy Nitro, you might not have heard it before, but really, really want to consider if you're in the market. So finally, for the best push carts of 2022, I want to talk about the Click Gear 4.0 three-wheel push cart. Now, this is a really comprehensive push cart. You get a lot of cart for your money here, and that's including storage and a really, really sturdy frame and nice big wheels that make it glide fairly effortlessly uh, across the fairways or the rough. I'd probably say out of all of them I've spoken about, this is the easiest to push. Now, the only caveat to mention here is that while that's all really good stuff for the click gear, it does take a while to get used to putting this trolley together and, and assembling it out of the car, whereas the other ones are sort of one or two clicks, or in case the bag boy just sort of expands right in front of you, the click gear is a little bit complex and takes some getting used to, so bear that in mind. But like with all of these, once you've done it a couple of times, it becomes second nature and you get to use all the benefits of the trolley once it's up. So once you do have this up and running, this is a really comprehensive push cart. Like I said, a lot for your money, really sturdy, and those big wheels allow it to glide pretty seamlessly over all surfaces. You can add extra accessories as well, so like the motor caddy, but a lot of cart for your money does mean it's a little on the heavier side when it's folded up. So bear that in mind as well. If you're looking for a really, really lightweight one, I would probably avoid this. But if you want something that's comprehensive, sturdy, loads of storage, it can take any bag, the Click Gear 4.03 wheel is a standout option. So let's move on to the best electric golf trolleys of 2022. So number one is stood right next to me here. It's the beautiful, fantastic Motor Caddy M5 GPS. Now this really does have it all, in my opinion. Firstly, it sits in Motor Caddy's M series, which is its compact folding series. So while it's a little bit bigger than the push carts I've just spoke about, it is still actually quite compact once folded up. Uh, and obviously a little bit heavier. But the absolute standout of this is its GPS system. Embedded into the handle, it uses a fantastic 3.5 inch touchscreen display, and it really is similar to a smartphone. There's no lag, there's no horrible feel to it, and there is loads on there. It's giving you front, back, and middle distances to greens, distances to hazards, an intuitive map with the green, and it isn't a generic map, it is the actual shape of the green, which is really, really cool, and allows you to place the pin on there as well to get even more specific. Now, it is absolutely fantastic to use, and it's worth me talking briefly while I'm on this about the Motor Caddy Performance Plan, which is a fantastic subscription service that you do have to pay extra for that gives you loads more benefits of your GPS. What you do get is full detailed hole mapping um, of, of about 40,000 courses, I think, the ability to, to place areas on that for layups or for how far you want to hit the ball, uh, a scorecard, data analysis of your rounds, such as fairways hit and greens hit, as well as automatic updates uh, to your device, which is connected via a SIM card cellularly. Now, I know it's frustrating that that's another subscription service that we've all probably got hundreds of anyway, but I, after using this for about six months now, I really think it is 
worth the money. When you do buy one of these, you do get six months free and there's no obligation to buy this performance plan. Another great storage feature is that you can invert the wheels. So when it's folded up into its already fairly small shape, those inverted wheels do save a lot of space in your car uh, or in your garage, wherever you store it. I love that. And my only qualm is that, look at this, a wire on the battery. What year is this? I'm hoping Motocaddy might move away from the old wire because I know on the other trolleys they have. So uh, listen, a fantastic trolley I could talk about for a heck of a long time. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna talk about the Stuart Golf Q Follow electric trolley. Now, if you've ever been out on the golf course and you've seen someone walking alone without a bag or a trolley on the fairway and gone, what's going on there? And then all of a sudden up comes scurrying a little bag and a trolley, following them around, that is the Stuart Golf Q Follow, a fantastic bit of engineering and an infectiously fun trolley to use. And it, it literally does as it says, it follows you around. So it's a cross between a follow and a remote trolley. The follow function works by putting the remote on your back pocket and the trolley knows that and keeps a safe distance away from you, following around wherever you go. And then for tighter sections around tees or around greens, you move it into remote functionality where you control it via the remote. It, it really is a fantastic trolley. Now it is a bit of an expensive investment, I'm not gonna deny that, but if you're looking to go all out and have a bit of fun with your electric trolley investment, I would absolutely point you in the direction of this trolley. Now, the handle is a little bit rudimentary. You haven't got a screen or anything like that, but that's fine because you're using it via the remote or the follow functions. And one thing to note, although this is a very heavy trolley, what with all the, the technology and the motors in there, it is surprisingly compact once it is fully folded up. And it's also got a really useful handle on it that actually makes carrying it back and forth, although heavy, actually quite easy to do. So that's really clever from Stuart Golf. Uh, and they do some fantastic work out of their factory in the southwest of England. And this is an absolute standout product. They're the masters of the follow technology. And like I said, if you're looking to have a bit of fun with your electric trolley and want something that follows you around on course, like a little companion with your bag on it, uh, the Q Follow is really, really cool. Okay, so next up, I want to talk about the Powercaddy CTA GPS. And now this goes directly head to head with the M5 GPS that I spoke about at the top of this section in that it is a compact folding GPS trolley, really the sort of full English breakfast of the electric trolley world with everything you could need on it. Uh, now this folds up similarly compact to the M5 uh, with a two-step folding system rather than a one, which is a little bit, it's not frustrating, but it's a bit harder to do the M5, uh, but it has a really similarly excellent uh, GPS touchscreen. So again, 3.5 inches, smartphone quality screen with loads of features on it, all you'll need really, such as uh, your distance to the green, a dynamic green shape uh, as well, as well as dynamic pin placement. So that's sort of the same level as the M5 before you go up to the performance plan. So these guys really are toe to toe when it comes to that. I would say the battery is a lot better in the CTA GPS. It uses uh, Powercaddy's plug and play system, which is a, a, a sleeker lithium battery that sits in the bottom of the chassis, which needs no wire. So it's a lot easier to plug and play, as, as the name might suggest. My only qualm, and it is, it's a very small one, but you can't adjust the handle height mid round. You have to actually use an Allen key somewhere separately and unscrew it and put it back in a different hole. Whereas the motor caddy and other ones, you can just adjust the handle as you're playing. Very minor one, but something probably worth noting. Okay, next up, back to motor caddy now. We're gonna talk about the motor caddy S1 2022. Now, this is a franchise that's been around since 2006. It's been given a fresh look of paint and a whole new folding system for 2022, as well as a couple of other really cool, unique features. Now, as I said, the S1's been around for a while, and one of the new features for this one is its one-click folding system. It is as easy as it sounds to use one sort of click and the chassis folds in on itself. As you can see, it's not super compact. It's quite long and flat, as opposed to the cubier shapes of the M5 GPS and the CC8 GPS but that's what you're getting at this entry level, sort of easy mechanics to use uh, and a really, really good trolley. Now, the absolute unique part of this is its battery, which you can charge while it's still in the chassis. So in theory, you never have to remove it. Uh, you can see the sort of plug on the battery unplug as you fold the trolley down and you can put the charger in without removing it. And this stops the need for taking it out, maybe forgetting it one day in your garage, charging as I've done multiple times. And from a user experience perspective, I thought it was just a really useful, well thought out bit of technology Motocaddy have come up with that just adds to using this trolley, making it easy, thought free when you're coming uh, back and forth from the golf course. But it absolutely nails the basics of an entry level trolley with that really nice folding system and that awesome battery that doesn't have to be disconnected and has no wires. And I just think it's fantastic as you might be able to tell by now. So if you're looking for an entry level electric trolley, you're just getting one for the first time. I think the S1 is an absolute standout for this year.
Okay, finally then, for the best electric trolleys, we're going to go back to Power Caddy and stay in the entry-level space here of electric trolleys and look at this wonderful machine, the Power Caddy FX3. Now, this has been one of the best-selling electric golf trolleys in the UK for a number of years now. So if you're watching over in America, maybe haven't heard as much of Power Caddy, uh, take it from us. This is a very, very good entry-level electric golf trolley. So this goes directly head-to-head -head with the S1 I just spoke about in that entry-level space. Kind of basic functionality, but with some really nice touches to make uh, the user experience as easy as possible. A couple of those include the battery, so it's exactly the same as the one I mentioned on the CT8. Plug and play, super thin, lightweight lithium battery. It is amazing how lightweight electric golf trolley batteries have got now from the old lead-acid battery days. Um, so that's a really, really standout feature. And whereas you do have to take this out to charge it, using this power button on the top, you can leave it in when you're storing it and not charging it. So that's a nice little feature. And again, will help you not forget your battery, as I'm sure most of you at home have at least once if you're a Golf Trolley user. Much like the S1 and any entry level electric trolley, it folds really simply, but stays pretty long and flat, not as compact as some of the other ones. So bear that in mind if storage space is an issue for you when investing in one of these. While it hasn't got all the bells and whistles of some of the other trolleys I've mentioned so far, this is absolutely a standout in that entry level space when you're first investing in one and you're looking for you know, a reliable war horse on the golf course with you. So the FX3, a fantastic option. So there you have it. Those are my best push carts and best electric trolleys for 2022. What did you think? I'd love to hear if you use any of these already or if I missed any out that you think should have been included in my top fives for either category. But as I said at the top of the video, I have to crown a winner for each. So let's start with the push cart. And I'm going to give it to the Bag Boy Nitron as the best push cart of 2022. As I said, a trolley that, that nails the basics with some beautiful added details that I really think you should go and check out. And the best electric trolley of 2022, drum roll. No, there isn't one. It, of course, is the M5 GPS from Motor Caddy. You can probably hear in my tone of voice I'm talking about it. It is the complete trolley, the English breakfast of electric trolleys. Uh, and I would urge you to go and check one out if you're in the market for one. Uh, but that will do for now. Thank you very much for joining me. And until next time, goodbye.